overall well today is friday and it is day one of summerween and i'm very excited i've been so excited about summerween since it was announced i just fucking love these ween readathons they're so good so um i do have last year's summerween sweater on because i got the t-shirt for this year but Although the sun is shining, I don't think it's actually that warm outside. Um, typical UK weather, it will fool us all. Either that, or I am entirely wrong and I'll be sweating later. Make mistakes will have been made. Uh, so, t I am going to be doing this vlog. This is going to be part one vlog for Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. And then you'll get a part two vlog for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Because uh, I'll actually generally be at home for most of the time tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and monday today i'm going to work <laughs> tomorrow it's my dad's birthday so we're nipping out for some food in the afternoon and then the football is on and then monday i'm going back to work again so it's a pretty busy time period and i am hoping i'll be able to fit some reading in in between we'll have to see how that goes but I did start some last night. At just gone midnight, I did start some. And I started with Home Is Where The Bodies Are by Geneva Rose because I had this on audiobook and I've been looking forward to this one since I got it. This book is following three siblings, Beth, Nicole, and also Michael. And they're estranged siblings. Um, Nicole has a drug addiction problem. Beth has a very... I think just normal standard life she was looking after her mother before right before she passed away which is what's just happened at the beginning of this story and uh Michael I think is living the high life or something he's done really well for himself and he looks down on the rest of his family and it's quite shitty so uh, their father disappeared I don't know how long ago but he disappeared and right before mum died she said something to Beth about this but didn't manage to finish the sentence. She literally croaked halfway through the sentence. Um, now these three are going to come together at the home, the family home, to you know get all the stuff together and then sell the house I assume and one night they end up looking through some old tapes and finding a tape that starts off with good memories but turns sinister when they suddenly see the face of a dead girl on the screen and what looks like what looks to be and sounds to be their parents covering this murder up so it sounds really interesting i didn't get too far at all because i was absolutely shattered and just could not keep my eyes open i got 28 pages in so at this point mum has passed away um beth michael and nicole are now together after having to go and pick up nicole from the police station um and this is the point that we're at i think it's going to be really interesting i haven't specifically heard good things but i have seen good things on reviews so i'm really excited about reading this one it's got a plethora of fantastic reviews on the back and a really good one on the front from lisa jewel and i'm really looking forward to this one so i'm very excited about it i did want to start off with this one because it is one that i've been anticipating for a while and i did want to get to it pretty early on um i also have on my tbr i have got reckless girls just as a reminder i've got reckless girls by rachel hawkins which is downstairs in a sleeve because for some i think my brain is still in when we leave the house we're usually staying out for a few days at andy's mode and that's not the case anymore so yesterday i ended up packing two books they took them downstairs and about an hour later i was like why have i packed two of them books i'm only going to work and coming back again later once i've picked andy up from work very bizarre anyway <laughs> I've also got The Haunting of Velkwood by Gwendolyn Kist, which I'm really looking forward to. Again, very short. I have It Watches in the Dark by Jeff Strand. I wanted to start this last night, but honestly, I'm not going to lie. Middle grade horror terrifies me more than anything else I've ever read. So, no. <laughs> and then The Five Year Lie by Serena Bowen, which is the chunkiest book out of all of them, I think. Um, so that is the rest of my TBR. And now I need to go make my way to work. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday. Um, this is you are very precariously parked on top of a bottle uh, while I just do my hair and give you a oh, quick update. Also while I burn myself because I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing properly. Um, it's my dad's birthday. So I've just had a quick shower and 
uh, now I'm sorting my hair out and getting ready to go out. We're going to go to a local Weatherspoons to him. Um, the England game is on at five, so, you know, everybody wants to get back for that. I could leave or take the England game. I truly don't care. Um, but everyone wants to get back for that. So we're going to go to Spoons for some lunch, celebrate my dad's birthday, get back, and then we'll be going out for the England game. Um, so it is an all day event. As far as reading is concerned, I don't have a great deal to update you on um, because I haven't been able to do a great deal of reading. Yesterday, Thomas was intrigued by my Summerween sweater. He was asking what the ghost was reading. <laughs> um, and then he wanted to get involved when I told him about Summerween. So we ended up hunting around his room for a spooky book and we found one called This Is Not A Bedtime Story or something. Um, so we read that twice because he wasn't listening the first time. I haven't made any more progress in in, in, in home is where the bodies are and I really do want to because I am enjoying that one and I would like to know more. I think it's going to be very good. So yeah, just wanted to come on, give you a quick update for Saturday. I don't know if you'll see me again today. Um, I, I We don't have any plans for tomorrow and I'm kind of hoping that we will be able to get Andy's PlayStation set up properly and I'll be able to get some reading in as well um, because we've been having some problems with his PlayStation downloading. So I'm hoping we'll be able to fix that tomorrow and he can play and I can read and we can do our things. E either way, I will end up doing some reading tomorrow. He will just maybe have to watch movies if we can't get the PlayStation set up properly. So yeah. Um, I'm going to go and finish off getting ready because I'm in a little bit of a rush now. We're on time crunch um, and I'll check in with you later tomorrow, whenever it will be. Okay, good morning team. It is 10 to 7 on Monday morning. I've dropped Andy off at work and I've had some breakfast. Um, and I can go last week. Um, I couldn't go to my brother's until Thomas had gone to nursery. I can go a little bit earlier today. I'm going to wait for them to message me and let me know. But I can go a bit earlier today. He's not going to nursery so I'm not disrupting a cycle routine. But we're in the car. Um, we're going to do a car update and I have a lot to update you on to be honest because uh, although I didn't read a great deal over the weekend, last night Andy fell asleep very early so I went and got in bed and 
well, I did some reading in the office for a little bit and then once it got dark, I went and got in bed. And I managed to finish three things, which is very good news. So I did read a little bit of manga because I thought, well, I would like to finish something in this vlog. <laughs> Um, and I was struggling so I ended up reading two volumes of blood on the tracks volumes two and three I read volume one in the um, Gavin recommends me manga video I can't remember what the title of that video was but it was something to do with Gavin recommending me manga uh, so I read volume one in that one and that was really weird it's kind of it was following this mum and this lad, um, Seichi is, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Seichi is a young boy and he's got this strange relationship with his mum and in the first one something happens to his cousin that involves his mum and it's just kind of left on a huge cliffhanger, like literally <laughs> left on a cliffhanger. Um, so I've then moved on to volumes two and three and I honestly don't know how to describe this series. It is really bizarre it doesn't really make any sense. I've no idea what's going on. There's something very strange, very off with the mum in this series. And I think that it seems to be bleeding into him a little bit as well. Something really bizarre is going on. Why is my battery flashing? I put a new battery in yesterday. Well, not a big new battery, but a charged battery. And I haven't used it since. Anyway, something really weird is going on with this lot and I'm not sure what it is, but it's really freaking me out and when you will have like the odd, really bizarre, I don't know, just the, the relationship is very, very weird and you will have like this. What the fuck is that? What is that? The battery did in fact die. Uh, what, what, what was that? I didn't, I don't like it. It freaks me out and I wish it would stop and it keeps happening. Um stop it so yeah it freaks me out both of these volumes got four stars <laughs> i've ordered volume four i wouldn't mind continuing to be perfectly honest but there are literally about 17 volumes of this series and it's the sort of thing that i'm gonna have to collect over time i think and just get volume by volume which is annoying volume by volume to see whether or not i want to continue or if i get to a point where I don't want to do it anymore because it, with it being such a long series, manga is not cheap. Um, so yeah, two star, sorry, four stars for both of these. Um, and then I also finished last night. Home is where the bodies are by Geneva Rose. I liked this. This was good. I gave it four stars. This is following siblings Beth, Michael, and Nicole. Um, and as they were growing up, Beth is the oldest, Nicole is the middle and Michael is the youngest. And, um, for some reason, Beth has come out of life into, she's got a daughter, but her daughter doesn't really want to speak to her anymore. She's a little bit strange. She would rather speak to Nicole, like her aunt Nicole, who is the middle child. Um, and Beth, like, is a factory worker, but she's, towards the end of her mum's life, she has ended up looking after her mum and stuff like that. Um, Nicole's a drug, drug addict. She was very much so well on her way to becoming like a successful writer and stuff. She's ended up becoming a drug addict. And Michael seems to have come up smelling of roses. He's doing very well for himself. He's poo-pooing his family because he's doing well for himself and they're not. And he looks down on them. Anyway, mum passes away. Beth's the only one that's there. Despite the fact that she's phoned both of her siblings to let them know. Um, Michael turns up maybe an hour after his mum passes away um apologizes for the fact that he wasn't here he was on his way but there was a delay and he couldn't make it in time but he wishes he had and then nicole ends up needing to be picked up from the station because she's been attacked um however she is trying to get clean once the siblings get back to the house a couple of arguments happen obviously they're all strange siblings uh, but they do start to clear things out the will is read out and then they do start to clear things out and they find these old vhs tapes of family memories and stuff and they end up watching one of them sticking one on for some memories and part way through it kind of you know does that thing where the screen goes static and then something else comes on so it's clearly been filmed over something else um and there is the dead body of a girl from their street and their parents are on film as well 
clearly covering this up. Um, and the siblings are trying to figure out exactly what it is that's going on. Now, what I will say about this book is it's very fast paced. The writing style, this is my first Geneva Rose. I will read from her again in the future. Um, but the writing style, very fast paced, very quick, quite atmospheric. I didn't predict who it was going to be until right before it was revealed. But I don't feel like the reveal was very shocking. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I want a book that's going to have me going, shut the fuck up. Like, if I'm listening to the audiobook as well, I'm pausing the audiobook. I'm going back through with my eyes to see if I've just heard correctly what I think I've heard. And then... I am shooketh for like five minutes. I'm shocked into silence. Um, that's what I'm looking for with my thrillers and with my horrors. I didn't get that with this, but it was very good regardless and I had a very good time with it. I think the characters were incredibly fleshed out. We got all of their POVs and it was a full cast audio as well, which was really good. So the characters did have their own voice and I think the characters were very, very fleshed out. Um, but I do think it kind of wrapped up very, very quickly. I think we literally had maybe like five or ten pages left where it was revealed um, and then all wrapped up. But I, I liked it. I thought it was very good and I had a good time with it and I did give it four stars. So this is my full novel, first novel finished for this readathon um, and then two graphic novels as well. So today is going to be the last day of this vlog. I will be wrapping this up this evening at a reasonable time i think with me coming into west Orton so early i think i'm going to be going down to my brothers for about eight half eight so i will be finishing earlier than i normally do and i will get home earlier than i normally do i do have a live show this evening for a, um our book club first down by grace riley but that book has not gone down very well with any of us and there's only one or two of us that have finished the book um so i've decided to turn the live show into sprints with like a half hour 20 minutes half hour chat at the beginning about the book uh, and how fucking terrible it was um so we're going to do those later but um i think my aim for today it's going to be Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. This I started last night just to make sure that I'd started another book. <laughs> you know what I'm like. I have to start another book so that I can continue on with it the next day. So I'm going to get, read for maybe an hour or so now until my sister messages me, my sister-in-law messages me to let me know that I can come around. But I'm going to read this one. This is kind of like a... Is it And Then There Was One Retelling or One by One Retelling by Agatha Christie? Um, I think the one by one is Ruth Ware, but that's the retelling of And Then There Was One. I think it's And Then There Was One by Ruth, uh, Agatha Christie. So this is set on a island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, which has a mysterious history of shipwrecks, cannibalism, even rumours of murder. It's the perfect destination for the most adventurous traveller to escape everything except the truth. So six people end up going on this trip. Um, however, things do start to become a little bit strange when one of them goes missing and another one turns up dead. There's very clearly a murderer within their midst, whether it's with, within the group or there's someone else on the island, I'm not sure. And things start to get a little bit fucked up. Uh, so right now we've met Lux and also Nico. Lux works in a hotel as a uh, maid. Yeah, as a maid, and she's just been fired from her job for being rude to a customer by accident, but for being rude in front of a customer. Um, so she's just been fired from her job. Her partner, Nico, which is how she's ended up in Hawaii, she's followed him to Hawaii the previous year, um, with the promise that they would live on his boat and they would just sail around the world. His boat is not all it's cracked up to be and i think there's been a lie somewhere down the line uh so she's followed him nico does have this boat i think he's just in a bit of a state so it's not you know sufficient enough to be sailing around the world it turns out he's met these two girls called Amma and Brittany, and they want to go to this island in the middle of the pacific ocean so that's four of our six characters so i don't know who the other two are going to be but so far they've had the conversation about going to this island Brittany and Amma i wanted to do this for a while they've been talking about it for a long time while they've been in college and this is what they want to do for their final thing to do on this trip that they've done this summer 
So Nico offers to take them because the guy that was supposed to be taking them didn't show up to their meeting. Nico offers to take them and he ropes um, looks in as well. So that's what I'm up to. I'm only 23 pages in. I only started it a little bit last night. I was absolutely shattered um, and it was like one o'clock in the morning and I knew I was going to be getting up at half five this morning. So um, I didn't want to take the piss out of myself. Uh, but yeah, so I'm intrigued to read this one and find out exactly what's going to go on. So I'm going to try and smash an hour out now, I think, of this. But I've also brought with me Happiness Volume 1, which is the same author of blood on the tracks um which i only realized last night i've had happiness volume one for a while but i've i've only just realized it's the same author so i thought it might be poetic to read this one in this um vlog as well maybe or if i don't read it in this one i will pick it up first in the next vlog um so it'll be the first thing I pick up in the next vlog because my volume four of Blood on the Tracks will come today, but I won't get it read in this vlog, I don't think. So I may move it into tomorrow's vlog, the next vlog. Um, so this one I think is vampires and I think a boy ends up being, his life's pretty low and he ends up being bitten by a vampire um, and things go strange. And I am intrigued by it, for sure. So, I also brought that. But I don't... I think if I try to read anything, physically read anything right now, I'm just going to go to sleep. I'm so tired. So, I think I'm just going to whack the audiobook on for Reckless Girls and make some progress in this. And that will be my plan. Um, but I wanted to bring it with me anyway, just in case I did want to pick that up. We'll, but we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to make some more progress in this. This cover is so pretty. Um, and I will give you an update when I've got one for you. team it is later on on monday and i'm here to give you an update on reckless girls by rachel hawkins i'm doing some sprints with my race engineers and above patrons um we did have the live show for our buddy read first down which did not go well by the way so we've had a rant for like 25 minutes about how terrible the book was and then we've gone into some sprints so that we can encourage each other to get some reading done or whatever i need to start editing this vlog uh, but i've gotten halfway through reckless girls and fucking hell i'm i'm just struggling with this i'm not enjoying it i truly don't care about any of these characters i went into this book thinking that this was a group of six friends so six people that know each other six friends that are on vacation that travel to this island and then the strange goings on start happening and i anticipated that the traveling to the island bit either wouldn't take long or they were already on the island um but that is not the case we have two we've got two people who is lux and nico our couple then they meet another two people who are Brittany and armor and then when they get to the island they meet another two people whose names i cannot fucking remember because i do not care in the slightest so that's how we get our six people they're not of they're not friends they don't know each other they don't have an established friendship or anything like that um it's quite clear that something's gone on with Brittany and armor potentially a lying about how they know each other and their background um and it's quite clear that everyone's got some secrets going on i don't care i'm halfway through the book again i anticipated that quite early on the mystery would start i'm halfway through the book there is not a single mystery in this book yet other than the secrets they're all keeping from each other which again i don't care about so it's not a mystery to me nobody's gone missing nobody's dead yet um I don't care this book reads like i feel like i've already read 300 pages and it's only just over 300 pages the traveling to the island took so long we are now on day four of being on the island and still nothing has happened they've all just got naked repeated repeatedly and had a laugh and gotten drunk repeatedly 
I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I just don't care. So I'm actually going to DNF this one, which is a real shame. This has been on my shelves for such a long time as well. And I'm obsessed with this cover. Um, like I even ch ch chose to use one of our Cherry Blossom bookmarks from Daisy and Bee uh, to match the cover. But I'm DNFing it because I honestly do not care. So it is what it is. Um, when I got home from work, volume four of Blood on the Tracks was waiting for me. So I think I might read that in the next vlog um, as a, another manga to pick up in the next vlog. But in this vlog, I didn't read as much as I really hoped I would, honestly. But I have managed to make some progress, which is good. So I did read volumes two and three of Blood on the Tracks, which I gave four stars each to. I also read Home is Where the Bodies Are, which I'm really, really stoked about because I really enjoyed this one and I did give it four stars. And then I have just DNF Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins, which I'm sad about, honestly. I'm not too happy about this situation. I'm not going to lie. Um, it does make me quite sad. I just can't bring myself to continue on with it. I'm not enjoying myself. And I think as well, during readathons, and especially shorter readathons like this, or where I might be vlogging multiple videos throughout the readathon, which, you know, this is only a week long and I'm doing two vlogs in it. Um, so my time is kind of limited. I find that I am more, if I'm not enjoying something, I'm more keen to put it down. I don't want to waste my time on a book I'm not enjoying when I could be picking up something else that I am enjoying. Now, I'm an avid DNFer anyway. I tend to do this. If I'm not enjoying something, I will put it down and I generally won't go back to it. Um, because I don't see the point in wasting time on books I'm not liking when there are, you know, thousands of other books out there I, I will enjoy more. But in a readathon like this, I'm way more likely to do it a lot quicker. Uh, I did get halfway through this, like I was on page 140, so I did get around halfway through it before I made that decision and I was here. Um, so I've given it a good go, but I'm just really bored and I just don't care. So I've no doubt all the action will happen in this half, but I, I honestly don't care. <laughs> At this point, I just don't want to carry on with it anymore. So I'm actually going to wrap this vlog up and I'm going to get started on the second vlog straight after I do this clip and then get get go into g -g -g -g, go into editing um vlog one so I hope you have enjoyed this video chat to me in the comments down below are you taking part in Summerween and if you are what did you read in the first four days of Summerween have you read anything new that was super exciting for you have you read this before am I making a, a mistake I mean I'm not getting rid of it straight away so if you think I've made a mistake and at some point I should come back to this when I've got a little bit more time let me know um there's a good chance I probably won't unless you say to me listen this is good this is going to have a twist and a turn in it that you're absolutely going to love um otherwise it's got really good reviews on Goodreads, to be perfectly honest. And I have read a spoiler review on Goodreads because, honestly, I was quite happy to just know what happened with the spoiler review. <laughs> um, but I just don't think I care enough to go back to it. But if you think I'm making a mistake, let me know. Uh, but, yeah, overall, I think it's gone all right so far. It's not gone as well as I'd have hoped, but it has gone all right so far. So I hope you have enjoyed, and I shall see you in whatever comes next. Bye for now. Thank <music> you.